Hey guys, I got the Jimmies from Jimmy Two Tech here, uh, bringing you another How To Hydro Dip video. We got a, a lot of feedback on the last video, but a lot of you guys had questions, and a lot of you guys were requesting some more Hydro Dip videos, uh, kind of like a How To format to help you guys if you want to try to Hydro Dip. So uh, this is basically what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we have a side view mirror from my uh, truck right here. So we're going to be doing that today and kind of give you guys an overview how to do it. We're going to make this video a little bit more in-depth. So basically every step yeah. we have here, you're going to see a little bit of video on it so you can actually do it yourself better at home. We'll correct a few of the mistakes we made in the first one. Like, for instance, the respirator we were using just a particle mask. You definitely want one of these. And we have a few other items in this, this particular setup that we didn't have in the last one. So hopefully that will help you guys out better. We're going to give you a rundown of the stuff we're going to use today. We're going to use the Scotch Bright Reds, is what we use to prep our surface, get it clean, ready for paint. Uh, we use the Semsov in order to wipe it off after we're done Scotch Brighting it to keep it uh, fingerprints and grease and all that off it. Uh, of course, you're going to want your rubber gloves when you're dealing with a lot of this stuff. And this is for safety, the respirator. Our last video, we used just a regular particle respirator. This is definitely the one you want. This one will block out more of the stuff. Uh, of course, tape for blocking off anything you don't want dipped. Um, we use these this Wonder Paint. We mentioned it in our last video. The Wonder Paint has a larger dip window. You can go longer before you have to dip. It's a one coat for everything. It, it It's very good. It works really well. Um, you can use other paints, but the dip window is smaller, and you might not get the best results out of it. Uh, we have a few different colors here. We have the black. This is the red. This is Intercoat Clear, so... Like if you got an item that you like the base color already, you just put this on and then your base color will be what shines through. Uh, then white and of course we got clear gloss. Uh, for all this stuff we'll put links in the description so you guys can check it out. Uh, we use Hydrovader uh, stuff for the, uh, for the film. Sorry I got tongue tied there. It's the Activator. There are many brands out there but this is the one we tried and it worked well so why change a good thing that works. And for the sake of this video, we got these little suction cups. Uh, they're going to stick well to the mirror. They're going to help us hold the item when we dip it. So you don't have to use the tape like some people do. Um, and here's what we're going to dip today. It's a mirror off the pickup truck. And we're going to use this here film. It's, it's There's like dragons on it. Uh, and this particular film, it's mostly black. The dragons are clear. So whatever your base color is, that's what the dragon color is going to be. So... For our instance, we're going to do a white base, and then our dragons will be white on, on the black, so that'll look pretty nice. Okay guys, so just jumping right in here, uh, we're going to be hydro dipping the side view mirror as we discussed. Uh, I took the liberty of cleaning all the bug guts off of this because it was completely just covered in like bugs because I drive a lot, so my truck definitely needed a wash, but you know, now that we're doing this, going to have a cool dip on this. So as I said, just make sure you clean it, then we're going to get this scuff pad here. So you're just going to spend a while just scruffing it up because you want the paint and primer to stick to it. So if it was like a smooth item per se, it really wouldn't stick to it. So spend a good amount of time scruffing it up because as much time as you take now, it's going to make your dip a lot better in the end. So. so we scuffed it up a little bit. So now is a good time to take a minute, put on your gloves because you don't want to get any of your uh, oil from your hands on your product. So we're just going to put on these gloves. Now that we got the gloves on so we won't get our uh, oil from our hands on this, we're going to uh, grab the Semsolve. And I'm going to recommend uh, some like shop towels. This is a lot better than uh, using like a paper towel because if you put the Semsolve on a paper towel and actually get wiping this, the paper towel will kind of like break apart and just like leave a whole bunch of stuff on your item you're trying to clean off. So that's definitely not what you want here. So I didn't put this in the uh, list of supplies we used. But again, this is just like a shop towel you can get from an automotive store. As I said, very important, uh, once you do wipe this off here, to not touch it with uh, your skin or any kind of item. You want to keep all the oil, grease, dirt off of it. So, thus the gloves. And I'm trying to hold it in a place that I won't touch anyway, even though I have gloves, just as a precaution. Alright, so we're going to go over the taping step for you guys a little bit better, so you can kind of get an idea how to do this. So, uh, normally, you just want to tape off 
what you don't want to be dipped. But for the sake of this, since this is kind of a two-piece, we're just going to kind of tape over. It's okay if we overlap because we'll just run a razor blade right through that line to make sure that we cut the tape exactly where we need it. So we'll just take a second to do that now. All right, so we finished taping all around this. As you see, we have it all the way around here. Uh, you can see the crease line right here where we're gonna cut. So I'm just making sure this is pressed down. Then I'll take a little razor blade here, utility knife, anything you wanna use for it. And I will just cut right along this crease line. All right, so we have it all taped up here. So uh, now for our dip, uh, there's not a lot of surfaces we can grab when we actually go to put it in the water. So we were talking about using the suction cups on here. So we're just gonna put the suction cup on it now before we give it the last wipe down. So just wet it, I guess. It definitely works a little bit better. Stick it right on there. Push this up. There you go, now we can lift it. So we actually have something to easier dip with. So from that point on how uh here now we're going to uh give it its last wipe down with the uh, sensol so from this point on you really don't want to touch it or uh, flip it over so it touches anything you kind of want to make sure it stays clean so after this rundown just don't let it touch anything else now we're about to the pre uh the painting part so for this sake i wanted my uh paint like the base coat of this to be white to make the dragons pop uh, i'll show you the film here in a second uh, uh more up close so you can see it um for you guys that are uh doing a dip in your item is the color you want to be the back color for what you're dipping you there's a inner coat clear basically it's like paint but clear so that way the color you already have down or of your item will be that color so as i said for this we're going with white so we're gonna hang this up, careful not to touch anything, and then we're gonna give it its uh, coat of Wonder Paint White. All right, as I said, to so you guys a little close up here. Uh, you see the dragons right on here? They're kind of clear, so whatever color your item is will be the color that uh, pops out. So I'm going for white, so the dragons will be white, the rest of it will be black. So it'll kind of be a nice blend into the vehicle. Okay, so we hang the side view mirror right from a tree here for painting. So right now he's just mixing up the spray paint can. As you notice this time, he's got his respirator. Just a disclaimer for all of you, don't paint inside. Always use protection because you don't want to breathe in the fumes as it will kill your brain cells and your lungs. Okay, and we're just gonna sit here and let that dry. You may be wondering why this is called Wonder Paint. Well, with this, go ahead there, Darth Vader. You have adhesion promoter, primer, and base coat all in one. And it does give you an 18 month dip window. Ready to spray right out of this can. Just shake it really well. It works on metal, fiberglass, plastics, previously painted surfaces, parts, and more. So this is, if you can get this, this is the best one for the job. Yep, the ones that we used. So that's why you only saw us do one spray uh, coat and we didn't have to do a primer because it's a two in one. So we get the primer and the paint one shot. So we are currently done with the painting part. So as you see, we have our item here, nice clear white coat, exactly where we want it. And we have the tape blocking off the parts that we don't, which you'll see on the other side there. So we're all good there. So when we're done dipping, we can just pull off that tape. It'll pull it off. So we're moving to the next step here, which is actually cutting the film into the size we need. So if we have our mirror here, we fit it here. When we cut the film, we definitely want to keep enough space so that when we actually dip the item, it doesn't stretch the film because if we didn't have enough, it would push itself to try to wrap around the item. So you want to give yourself a sufficient amount of space, which we already started to measure. Ours is 18 by 18. Yep, uh, 18 by 18 is what we decided to go with here. Very important, too, while you're doing this, to make sure nothing wet touches the film. 
because you'll mess it up. So make sure your hands are dry. Uh, make sure what you're setting it on is dry. We use one of these cutting mats. Um, if you guys don't have one and uh, you're into any kind of hobbies or cutting stuff, I would definitely recommend one. We'll probably leave a link right in the description for you. It's uh, a self-healing mat, so if you cut it, it'll, it heals itself. It's pretty nice. Yep, we use it like when we're making decals, uh, cutting stuff for dipping, stuff of that nature. So it might be something you guys may be interested in. So now we are going to put tape around the outsides. It kind of makes it like a, uh, a float. So when you set it on the water, the film doesn't like nose dive straight into the water. The tape kind of keeps it buoyant and above the water. So you're going to do that on all four sides. And that's also another advantage to uh, cutting the film uh, bigger because that way, uh, you know, when you put your item in there, the tape doesn't touch it and messes it up. So, so right now, he's just cutting down the tape size a little bit because we don't need it as wide as that. And uh, after he's done cutting down this tape, he's going to put little vents in it because you'll see like a lot of wrinkles on top of the film right now. So if you cut little vents, when you do set it in the water, it, any air bubbles that are underneath the film can actually work their way out. Just right in the corners, we're just going to cut, clear the tape from the, the edge so it'll allow the film to expand once you put it on top of the water. So as you see there, it'll still flow on top of the water. It's still going to be buoyant, but that way all those air bubbles can work off of the film nicely. So each corner we do it, you see right there's one, over here, over there, and one in each corner. And before you get the taping done, you want to test the film to find out what part of the film goes down. So you, what, a little trick is to wet your fingers and put it between the film, the film between your fingers, and whatever side's the stickiest, that's the side you put down on top of the water. Okay, I'll try to show you guys here what he's talking about with the film there. So you just wet your fingers, lift up the film, lightly pinch, and it, see, it sticks to my top finger. That would be the side that we're going to set on top of the water. All right, so we have the tub we're using right here. This is just the utility sink that we have right in the shop here just for, like, rinsing stuff off. As you can tell, it's a bit dirty, but the important part is the inside of it is clean, so we put water in here. There's nothing on top of the water right now dirt-wise. So, moving on here. Uh, the water you put on here, your ideal range is around 90 degrees. That's the best temperature for dipping. Uh, makes everything adhese faster. That's about 33 degrees Celsius for our metric friends. Yeah. So right now we're getting around 91.4. So by the time we go over there, grab the film and set it on top, we'll be right about the ideal temperature of where we want to be. Yep, see it? Collapse in the middle. Let me see if I can grab it to help you out. Okay. Oh. You want me to try to grab two corners? Yeah. Okay, we'll put this camera down and switch to the Nikon. When you put this in, you kind of want to like use a droop method there so it looks a little kind of like a hammock. That way you don't get water on top of the film. You slowly place it on the water. And then once you sit on there, you got to set a timer for one minute. We're setting our timer. At 90 degrees, it takes about one minute for the film to get ready for the activator. If you're colder temperatures, it might take longer. If you just watch the film, you'll see it. And if there's any air bubbles, you push them out right now on the edges. Wherever you see a bubble, you can push them out right now. Just don't push too hard because you don't want water on top of your film. As you can see how it got smooth, yep. th it's about ready. Yep, so now's the prime time to get the respirator on, safety purposes. Again, another disclaimer, you do not want to breathe in the activator. Very not good for you. Okay, so now we're going to spray the activator. Uh, spraying this on, you're going to want nice, uh, nice even coat. Okay, we're going to let that sit for about 30 seconds, so that gives us time to grab the item, and then we'll get to dipping. Okay, we're going to do a nice uh, angled push in there, so you're going to do bottom end in, nice, slow, and steady. Just remember not to ever bring it back up. Okay, give it a nice mix. Put the item. There we are. So we're going to pause, run inside quick, because we need to rinse it off with hot water for about three minutes, but we have the sprayer in there.
you could tell it when you get it because right now it's got the shiny it's really shiny that's that stuff you need to rinse off of the hot water for like three minutes then it'll be dull but don't worry your clear coat will bring that back all right so let's go all right we're inside now heating up the water using the sprayer to rinse off the gloss so as we said here uh, the initial gloss you get when you pull it right out of the dip, I mean, it looks really nice, but it needs to be rinsed off, so. It's actually the film still. It's the, it, if you feel it, it's slimy and sticky. You'll know when you got it all because it won't feel slimy and sticky and it'll be dull. And then just as like a little side note, when you're doing that, it's probably good to wear gloves because he's yeah. got a, a black hand right now. It's, I mean, it doesn't hurt you or nothing, but, you know. A little extra work to get it off, so. We are to one of the final steps of this. We have rinsed it all off like you're supposed to around three minutes. It gets all the sticky off there. So as you can see, it looks pretty dull right now, but that's what you want. So after you rinse it, make sure it dries completely. If you want, you can use like some pressurized air just to dry it off faster for speed's sake. But we just let this one kind of air dry. Right now we got Jimmy over there mixing up some clear coat. He's got his respirator for safety. Because we don't want to be breathing any fumes. I sound like a broken record, but very you important. Be, uh, doing your project and passing out. Yeah, you don't want to pass out on your project. That usually messes it up. So we're just going to let him get some clear coating going. I'm going to get out of the way. We kept the tape on it until we installed it. That's why we also kept the suction cup on here. That way we didn't have to touch it because we're still making sure it's 100% dry. So we want to keep hands off of it. So right now we're just going to peel the tape off. After the tape's off, we'll get this all off the mirror and then it'll be finished. At least the suction cup. This is how it looks. It is pretty nice. Something different from a distance. It shows up pretty good on there. There's all kinds of uh, different films that if you didn't want the dragons, they got skulls and flames and camos and everything. So it's a pretty cool addition. Something you did yourself. All right, guys, that uh, concludes our how-to video. We're going to call it How-To Hydro Dip 2.0 just because this is kind of a revamp on to the last video we had, answering some of your guys' questions, putting a little bit more detail. And as I said earlier in the video, I know a lot of you guys wanted to see more dipping, so we're bringing it to you. Finished product looks really nice on this. Uh, couldn't be more happier. It turned out really, really good. Uh, you anything to add on there? Yeah, as you see, the white base coat, that's what's shining through as the dragons, but like I said, any color would come through and look pretty nice. So this video just improvement from our last one. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section. We'll link all the supplies and stuff we used down below in the description. As always, please like, share, subscribe, and we'd appreciate it. Yeah. Until next time. Later.